Hello, welcome to the Stoltz video training series. Today we will be discussing the different submenus available under the service menu. This will permit the user to find submenus needed to view, record, and modify specific setting values for the unit operation as well as view and or clear the alarm history log. We will be using a large bezel non-touch screen display and our controller has been programmed as a standard chill water unit for today's demonstration. We begin by pressing the program button on the keypad to the right. This will bring up the main menu screen on the display. We then scroll through the menu options by pressing the down arrow button. We then press the enter button when the word service shows in the middle of the display screen. The next screen will ask for a password to be entered. By pressing the enter key, we move the flashing cursor into position. Now using the up arrow, we change the password to the number two and then press enter. The word service will appear to the middle of the display screen again. We then press the enter button once more to access the service sub menu. By using the down arrow button, we can scroll through the various service sub menus as follows. Cool, heat, humid, alarms, sensors, blower, options, digital in, run hours, BMS communication, group, save configuration, factory, and then back to cool. The cool heat humidity menus have variable cut in and cut out settings that may be changed as needed. Please reference the Stoltz E squared I1M manual before making any adjustments. In the alarms submenu, you may view the alarm history and or clear the history by simply pressing the alarm bell button while on that page. In the sensor submenu, you may view the current sensor reading and apply an offset reading to your sensors for calibration purposes. Please use a calibrated temperature humidity meter when performing this function. Next, we will enter the blower submenu. In this menu, we can adjust the run, low, and the dehumidification fan speeds. As an example, for a chill water unit, the factory default settings are 100% run, 60% low, and 60% dehumidification. Please reference the Stoltz E squared I1M manual before making any adjustments. Next, press the down arrow button and the chill water fan setup page will appear. This page is for fine tuning your unit to the room load. Please refer the E squared I1M manual section 5.5.6.2 for a more complete understanding of this function. If Modbus fan or static pressure control has been selected for the unit, then please refer to the I1M manual for further information. Continuing on, you will now come to the Options submenu. Here you can make adjustments to various settings such as Auto on power up, that when enabled the unit will come on automatically when main power is applied, Auto on remote, this setting will allow a unit to be remotely switched on or off, and the EPO option, or emergency power off, that allows immediate shutdown without delays or minimum run times. We advance to the next screen by using the down arrow button, and you will see the screen for unit timers. Here you may adjust the startup, airflow, and shutdown delays, as well as the recovery time functions. Factory defaults are always recommended, and please refer to the Stoltz eSquare I1M manual for further information. You may also see the Stoltz video for recovery time that details further information. In the next screen, we come across the temperature humidity offset multiplier used for scaling the offset values. Please refer to the Stoltz e squared I1M manual section 5.5.7.3 for further information regarding this feature. Continuing on, we come to the auto flush cycle feature, and here we may enable a periodic flushing of the chill water, free cooling, or alternate water source coils. 
To enable this feature, change the word no to yes, set the desired minimum value open percentage, and set an interval time that if the valve does not reach the minimum open position in the allotted time frame, a flush cycle will occur. At the bottom of the screen, you will find the displayed number of how many flush cycles have been completed since the unit was initialized. The next screen is for a custom alarm setup. A user may select a set of alarms that will trigger a relay for a hardwire signal back to the customer system. Please refer to the Stoltz E-squared IONM manual for more information and tables regarding this feature. Our next submenu title is Digital In. This allows a user to view what digital points in the controller are open or closed. The next submenu title is for run hours. Here you may access specific component run times by using the up and down arrow keys. The next submenu is titled BMS Communication. In this screen, we can change the protocol for the specific customer's communication required. For additional information on the BMS communications, please contact Stoltz Technical Support and please check back with us for future releases of Stoltz video training series on BMS communications. The next submenu is titled Group. This menu is used for the setup of unit to unit sequencing. Please refer to the Stoltz E squared IONM manual for further information and tables regarding setup. Please also check out the Stoltz video training series instructional video titled PLAN Grouping for another source of information regarding the unit to unit sequencing. This concludes our video service submenus. Thank you for viewing and stay tuned for more Stoltz video training series.